Okay, so things are obviously not that bad even here in Greece, in uh, Castoria, one of the most affected towns. But life has become quite surreal the last week or so. Uh, we all have to be cautious, we all have to take measures and I won't go into medical advice. But sticking more in my lane, it's a good idea to keep on training. Exercise is a great way to be proactive about your health, to strengthen, boost and armor your immune system against any virus. Also, since a lot of people might be stressed right now, either for themselves or their loved ones, exercise is also a great way to lower stress levels. So keep calm and keep on training. Since gyms are closed in most parts of the planet right now, I thought of making a bodyweight workout that requires no special equipment and anyone can do anywhere. Either that's a nice park in the woods or even your own apartment. Ideally, I'd recommend an outdoor natural environment that is not crowded, somewhere you can get fresh air and take the edge off. Studies show that interacting with nature reduces stress and also boosts the immune system. The workout is a short full body circuit routine that you can do anywhere between 3 and 6 times per week. Perform each exercise one after the other with a 10 to 15 second break in between. Once you go through them all, take 2 to 3 minutes of rest and repeat for another 2 or 3 times. Go for three rounds if you train six days a week and four rounds if you train three times a week. During your non-strength training days, it's good to stay active, either that's going for long walks, doing some cardio, or my favorite option, heel and stair high intensity interval training. Combined with a proper warm-up, this routine won't take more than 30 minutes to do. For a beginner, it will be more than enough to get in shape and for someone more advanced, it will be a good way to maintain his fitness level. In the top comment below, I'll include some extra information and video links on high intensity interval workouts, hail sprints, warm ups, and other helpful stuff. This has become one of my favorite no equipment exercises for the back. It opens up your body and reverses that office hunchback and forward head posture. It is also great for shoulder mobility. To do it, lay flat on your stomach and elevate your arms and legs just a bit to get them off the floor. Don't hyperextend your lower back and keep your glutes squeezed. Bring your hands straight in front of your head with your palms facing the floor and from there bring them all the way back next to your glutes, rotating your palms upwards during the end. Once you get a hold of the technique and 12 reps are easy, you can start adding weight. Start with half a liter of water bottles and increase the weight when the exercise feels easy. To make the exercise more difficult, you can pause at the top for a second and even use big detergent type of bottles for a heavier resistance. Make sure though that you find a pair with comfortable side grips like these. Option 1 for training the legs are plyo burpees. Plyo burpees skip the push up part of a regular burpee, saving your energy for the vertical jump which is the part that you want to focus on. Don't just lift your feet off the ground, focus all your effort on jumping as high as possible. Option number 2 are jumping lunges. Jumping lunges are a similar but even more difficult exercise that is highly effective for training your legs bodyweight style. Keep your front knee behind its toe and switch legs during each jump. Focus on balance and keeping an upright symmetric posture. Option number three are wall sits. Wall sits are more ideal for people who have knee sensitivities and all you need to find is something to lean against, either that's a wall, a post or a tree. 20 to 30 seconds is a good beginner goal. You can increase the time of this station up to a minute. After that, you can also progress to a single leg wall sit. 
Make sure you're keeping your elbows as close to the body as possible. Avoid anything wider than 45 degrees. And also make sure that you're not rounding your shoulders as you go down. For more tips on how to do push-ups with good form and how to activate your chest more, watch my older video tutorial. If flat on the ground push-ups are too difficult, start with incline ones and decrease the angle as you get stronger. If regular planks are easy for you, you can also try a single arm plank. Just make sure that your body is straight and you're not rotating your pelvis towards the arm that is leaning on the floor. So that was all for today. If you have any extra questions about the workout plan, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll be also opening up again my online coaching program. A lot of people have been asking me to train them online the last year. I didn't have any time due to my personal outdoor training practice here in my hometown. Now, due to the current circumstances, I can't do that. So I have more free time. If you're interested, there'll be links below. And until next time, stay healthy and keep on training.